What up and welcome back to Boring Reviews. Jody here. Nick here. And today we're reacting to another Michael McIntyre. Nick, what are we reacting to? You just said it. Or the Sever Tell, video. you just said it. Um, British drivers and windscreen wipers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, a windscreen wiper. Are there people who are too cool? I'm not going to put on the wind windshield wiper. And it is interesting, windscreen. Is, how is like everything different? We speak the same language, but everything is different. There was something we were just reacting to on 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, where he had said something just a little bit different, like a whiteboard washer or something like that, as far as a dry erase. Yes, like, yes, like yes. Wipe away board. I'm not sure what it was, but like just it just fascinates me because you hear a certain word or thing called a certain thing for your entire life, and you hear something different. But yep, it's fun. Well, we do call drivers drivers, so that's cool. If you like our reaction anyway to this Michael McIntyre, we have so many other reactions to his because he's fantastic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload video. I'm going to laugh whether he says that the, the British drivers just overuse them or don't use them at all. Uh, it doesn't rain a lot in Vegas at all, but right now we're kind of ending our rainy season. And you have two different types of Vegas drivers. You have the ones where it's like barely sprinkling and they're like, push, 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 push. And you're yeah. like, dude, it's scraping. I don't think they realize it's a different speed. Like, just relax. And then you have other drivers that never turn it on. And some days I'm kind of like that. Kyle will be like, Mom, are you going to turn on your windshield wipers? I'm like, when it's full. And then I'll just lift it up to wipe, wipe, and I put it back down. Because like, doing this is a lot of work. Well, I don't want it to just like keep going. I just want to tap it up just a wee bit. You don't want to overwork it? Nope. Have you ever noticed that when it's not a heavy rain, like if you don't wipe it with the windshield wiper, it's not really a big deal. Like you can yes. see just fine. Yeah. When it's really heavy rain, then you have to, you can't see Yeah, it's anything. true. Anyways, you guys it's are really true. interested to hear that. They're like, we know, we live in rain. Yeah, they do. Here we go. So how did you get here tonight? Who came by public transport, public transport people? Oh, very good. All of them. Drivers, drivers in the house. I think British people are the best drivers in the world. Yes, give yourselves a round of applause. We can adjust to the different strengths of rain with our windscreen wipers like nobody else on Earth. There's one, that's the first level, one. It's sort of like a quite constant, not too fast, that's the first, a little bit of a light, light rain, let's go for one, then you can go up to two, two is a little bit faster, it's not the maximum, you make the decision, you're like, it's got a little bit stronger and I've decided to go to two, <laughs> then the maximum, huge rain, you can't even believe the rain, <gasps> I'm going all the way, I'm going all the way. <laughs> They're working everywhere but there, just that little bit at the bottom. I can't reach that. The frustrating little triangle at the bottom. <laughs> Work away. It's really raining, guys. But our favorite speed, and I'll speak for all of us when I say this, I believe to be the intermittent setting. There's something so I fun hate that about one. waiting. I hate it. Is it gonna go? Is it gonna go? Not knowing whether you've made the right decision. Shall I go to one? Shall I go to one? It's 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 blurring, it's smudging, I'm losing vision. It's raining heavier. I'm gonna hold on. Shall I hold on? I'm gonna hold on. Clear. Oh. <laughs> and the rebuild begins. Yes, he's so I right. Turn it on, turn it up. Yeah. Yep. Favorite button in the car. I can't wait any longer. I, say this. I think it's the hazard warning lights. There's something very exciting about that little red triangle Ooh, I get to push in it. the corner. When you push it, when you become a hazard, you think, oh, I'm a hazard. You feel quite excited. I must warn yes. everybody that I'm a hazard now. I've broken down. You put it, it starts flashing in the car and, and, and everything's working. All the, all the indicators, we're a hazard. Yes, I've done the right thing. I've done the right thing. But we've interpreted the hazard in other types of our life. A <laughs> fun one true. is on the motorway when you hit traffic, you know? Suddenly you're going 70, 80 miles an hour, then suddenly there's traffic, you have to slow down. <gasps> that was dangerous. I went from high speed to nothing. But your thought is no longer with yourself. Your thought is with everybody behind you. I must warn them. I must warn them of the breaking danger that lies ahead. And I will use my hazard warning. Like, can you see me? Can you see that you must slow down? You're looking in your rearview mirror. Have you clocked me yet, my friend? It's a lovely moment. They're like, I see you, and I shall warn the one behind. I'm warning. <laughs> you can even feel quite excited when you see it in the distance. <gasps> We're working as a team. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Love I it. wish Americans did that. Just thank people. Yeah, I was going to say. We do not do that. We don't use it for that. When I was younger, I was told that if you do like 
one round of the hazard, like you just press it once and turn it off, it means like basically the same as flipping the bird. So like you're really mad at someone behind you, you do that like, oh, take that little punk. If you're behind them, you do like the whole high lights, high, high beams. Yep. Um, but that's a different reason for flat. But I've never thought about like, hey guys. I mean, I think like the, all the traffic lights, the red lights, would be, <laughs> the brake lights would basically do it. That's like I have heard of flashing your brights like at oncoming traffic. Yeah. There's like a cop I've or something. That. Yeah. And you're like, hey, pay attention. Like, uh. But um, but no, that's hilarious. And I can get that excitement of seeing it and be like, oh, me too. Me <laughs> too. <of> the team. <laughs> it's like when you do the wave and you get excited, people are doing it. Oh yeah. They're doing the wave. Do you guys have the wave? I mean, I don't I'm not saying America invented it, but like where you're at a stadium and a whole section will go up at the same time. They and you have to wait to your turn your so it looks like a whole like wave going around the stadium. So cool. It's fun. I, I think people make fun of it so much, but I think it's pretty cool. People make fun of it, but when you're there, you want to be a part Ooh. of it. It's, and then, it's just, it's And the then like the 10th time around, you're like, I don't yeah, want to do it anymore. Yeah, 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 you're done. I'm over it. <laughs> it's the first couple of rounds. But it's. It's the excitement of being with people and working together. Yes, like said, people you don't like, know. We're nope, all in one accord. Dangerous. I don't want to talk forever about this, but one last thing. I remember like being in a section where like the wave started and this one dude he just stands up and he's like all right one two three ah and it took us a few times to see what, oh we know what he wants okay and so we were the section that started oh, and it would like go a few sections and die off and they'd be like boo and he would he kept doing it like 20 times and we got around and he was like yeah i love it that's a big thank you isn't it that's the biggest thank you because sometimes you just acknowledge them with your hand you know, you flash if they're in front of you to thank them. Because letting people in in traffic is a big part. Once you've decided to stop your life to let somebody in, you see them edging, they're edging, you're like, shall I, shall I? You contemplate it. Shall I? Yes, I will, I will. To, to allow the free flow of traffic, I will stop my life. Yes, you. You should come in. You can go first. Go on, off you go. Yes, I'm a very... Not you behind them. Yeah. Only one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. There's yes. always some sneaky. Yes. I am generous to tune of one vehicle. <laughs> and, they go, and then you wait to be thanked. You're, you're burning a hole in their head. I stop my life for this. I'm expecting some form of gratitude. Sometimes it never comes. I can't believe her. I regret my decision. I should never have let that rude person in. Sometimes you try to overtake them just to look at them. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You is the biggest thank you when somebody lets you in and you come in and they let you in and you can you can feel them burning a hole in your head waiting for gratitude and like you think i'm not grateful you think i'm not grateful but i am grateful <laughs> i can't get more grateful than has a thank you now oh, I know we've please. seen that part that before. Part, but it cracks me up. I'm hoping that we haven't you. reacted to this entire video before because that would be hilarious. But I if don't we know, had, but I, think about how much fun we had with that the second time. Seriously, because if we did, I didn't remember a I'm lot of it. I'm gonna check while you share I your thoughts. I only remember that last part. Um, I totally am a wave. Like, thank you, thank you so much. And I'm totally <laughs> one of those people like one car only. And I get annoyed when people know that their lane is ending, whether it's naturally ending or it's construction, and you let somebody in front of you and the other person swings all the way around and gets in front of them. And I'm like, really, really? It makes me so irritated. You knew the lane was ending. But I will say that um, I'm definitely a thinker and that cracked me up. I'm like trying to watch you and try not get distracted. So we have one called driving. I'm not sure if it's the same one or not. No, it's different. Okay, so it yay. was in a compilation. Thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. We can post this one. Woo! That's what I'm thinking about. But, um, but yes, he, he, set that joke up so perfectly yes. with the hazards and his little movement is like so much fun thank you you think i'm not grateful you think i'm not grateful but i am <laughs> <laughs> that is so awesome i wish we did he our hazards so like talented. that to say thank you i will say when we were in england we did notice driving around that people were very it was polite. less stressful yeah people were very polite they let you in and again there's an order to it but i feel like in the united states it's very much it's more stressful. You gotta like push yourself in it there. Is, People are not as generous. It's very aggressive. That is it's a stereotype. And we talk about stereotypes about Americans all the time because we know we're not perfect, but we feel like we're we're pleasant people and so whatnot. But 
it's I'm I'm aggressive as a driver at times. You have we, to be. We are aggressive as drivers here. And like Very she good. said, it was night and day yeah. in the UK. So we salute you. Um, especially for someone like me who was a first time driving on the other side of the road, yes. the left side of the road. So nerve wracking. Um people were people were awesome. No one I think besides until we were in we were in London, right? Yeah. And I think it was Ozjaw driving. He's a good driver, but yeah. I think when we were in London, we got a few honks. But I also think that the honks were also kind of more of a, can no, you go? No, no, we got a few oh, honks we did. Okay. for in this or that. Sorry he just threw you under the bus, Ozjad. We love you. No, he didn't do anything wrong. Like, it was like, honestly, it he was, was a great London. driver. But anyways, this guy is so, like, sometimes when I, I watch people do anything, I think to myself, oh, I could probably do that. And it's just pride. But I could not, if I was going to be a stand-up comedian, I could not do the way he is. He is so talented. Yeah. I'm not saying he's the best, but he is so good, and he just cracks me up every time. Well, like a lot of these um comedians they're just so good at their body and their facial expressions too it's not just the jokes it's the the way everything folds together to create the yeah. story like he and lee evans like they're just so good with the movements the scrunching the faces the in different physical ways. comedy and, yes and not just that but these comedians are so good at timing i get mm -hmm. so excited about something i know is funny that i just butcher the, the timing almost every at least that's how i feel i'm very hard on myself about that but these they're so good. You can follow along easily. Yep. You, you laugh at the right times because they built it up. It's fantastic. If you did like this, maybe it's your first time you're watching a reaction to Michael McIntyre. I doubt that. But if it is, like I said, we have several on the channel. Check out some others. Not so much for our reaction. If you like it, that's cool. But just to hear his or go to his channel and check out his videos without our faces being there. But if you like this one, if you like and subscribe, don't forget to come back for another video quite shortly. And until next time. Goodbye. Yeah,